Hey everyone, welcome back. So today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you what I bought at the Sephora Beauty Insider holiday bonus, that is a mouthful, um, a sale this past, well, you know, for Rouge's it was the past few weekends, but for the VIBs and the Beauty Insiders, you are still going to have time to shop. I believe you have some upcoming weekends. So I wanted to make sure to get this up while the Rouge's could still shop and then get your list ready for everybody else. Um, I'm really excited about what I bought. I did order a few times and I did go to the store a few times because you know... <laughs> You're given ample opportunity to place that order and to, you know, think about things. Sometimes I like to go to the store and just kind of touch and feel, bring things home. And then sometimes I like to ponder those things I wasn't quite sure I wanted to buy in the store. So let's get into this. I hope you feel special because I saved this tissue paper just for you so you can get the whole authentic, this is what it looks like when you go shopping, but I'm sure you're more than aware. Um, you know, I like to do weird things like that. Before we get into this haul, I must sh share this uh, sweatshirt with you. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, which if you don't, you should. Um, I post a lot of outfit of the days, what I'm eating, what I'm drinking, just all kinds of things on my Instagram, and it's Gary. Um, but I often post outfit pictures or fashion finds before they even arrive here on my YouTube channel. Uh, so this sweatshirt is from Target. I think it's $19.99 or $16.99. I have another color. It's like a burgundy maroon shade. It is fabulous. It has kind of that distressed, worn-in look, which I am a huge fan of. I love the crew neck. The thing with this is that you can throw out a pair of hoops with just jeans, and it looks dressy. Um, this color is beautiful. It's like a, I want to call it like a country blue because it reminds me of like you know, growing up back back home in the 90s where they went through, there was like a country blue phase that everybody was into. Um, but it's a really pretty color that comes in orange and maroon. There's a beautiful dark, like, green. There's a gray. Just all really good colors, and it's so comfortable. Highly recommend checking out this sweatshirt. So I went into the sale needing loosely nothing. I, I say that because there are a few things I can always kind of stock up on, like cleanser. Um, but because there just was the sale at the end of August or beginning of September when they redid their rewards thing, um, I had just bought a bunch of things. So if you're curious what I bought, I'll put it in a card and link below. But I went into it thinking, okay, for sure I'm going to get a cleanser because a cleanser is something I use twice a day. I go through a lot of it. And that's okay to stock up on. Um, and so I have been very intrigued by this red clean skincare line. Now I've known about this line but I just haven't purchased anything from it. I actually found out about this line I think it was six years ago um, and I just never took the time to look into it but now I'm loving what I purchased thus far. So this is the gentle cleansing milk. It says cleanses and soothe, soothes. So the idea behind this line is that it's formulated for people with very sensitive skin and it is free of a lot of skin irritants which I'm really finding. I'm very sensitive skinned. Um, and so this has, let's see, black currant seed oil, rich in omega-3 to soothe the skin, sea buckthorn berry oil, which is a very hydrating oil, coincidentally, um, to soften the skin, fennel seed extract to help protect against pollution damage. This is a cruelty-free brand, and it's free of a whole bunch of things. So I like my cleansers to be very calm and just smooth. I don't like anything too harsh or heavy that can really strip my skin if it's natural oils. So I'm really interested in this. I also like the idea of a pump. I think that is great. I think it will travel well. So that is the first thing I picked up. This is adorable. I use the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask every day, but look at this cute little set. So you get a full size in here and then three smaller little trial sizes of three different other flavors. So this lip sleeping mask is really nice to put on even before you're going to do your makeup to hydrate your lips. But I put on a lip balm every single evening before I go to bed. So I could take this ring off. It's super cute, but it's falling. Um, so the original one, I believe, is grapefruit. I have that in my upper drawer here. But then it comes with a small grapefruit, a small apple lime, and a small vanilla. I thought these would be great to put in your purse, or if you're actually gonna do some traveling, you don't wanna bring something big, it comes with a little applicator. But for the price, you have to get this. Like if you wanna try the Lip Sleeping Mask, sure, you can buy this on its own, but I believe for a dollar more, or even around the same price point, you can get this, and then you can get the little ones to try. So, also great, cute little, cute little, ooh, that's nice. Mmm, that apple lime is really nice. Also, I'm thinking, you know, give to your daughter, teenage daughter. I, I would even let my, uh, my daughter's eight, but stuff like this to put in stocking stuffers. I know it's a, you might be thinking, oh, it's too early for that. Well, not really. <laughs> um, 
I start to think a little bit ahead of time, you know, at least making my list of what I am looking to buy. So this Kiss and Makeup set is a good value. Another thing that has been on my wish list for quite some time, and I've had several samples of it, but I just never took the plunge to buy it, it's this Dr. Dennis Gross Ferulic Plus Retinol Triple Correction Eye Serum. So I have eye creams. I have two of them that I love. I love the Tata Harper Restorative Eye Cream and the Drunk Elephant, um, oh, C no, not Sea Tango. Anyways, I'll link them below. I love both of those, and those are more of like a hydrating moisturizer, and I think there's some anti-aging benefits in them as well, but this specifically is more treatment-based for the under eye and eyelid area. So most eye creams on the market aren't formulated to for you to put all over your eyelid, and I'm noticing that my eyelids have become quite crepey, and the skin is getting a little bit loose. It's not as firm as it once was. And so I am looking forward to using this in conjunction with my other eye creams. This has retinol in it and ferulic acid. It says, if you have crepiness, wrinkles, loss of elasticity, rough texture, and you want smooth, retextured, brighter skin around the eyes, then this is what you would use. This is what the bottle looks like. I have heard positive things about this. I know Tammy from, well, her channel used to be called Uppies Beads, but now I think it's Tammy's Ageless Beauty. She really enjoys this product. And I like to take recommendations from people, especially skincare, that are older than I am. Because number one, they're, they've lived longer. They're wiser. They've more than likely tried a whole bunch more things than I have. You know, and their skin is older, so it is a better use of like before and afters than someone say like me, who's, I'm only in my 30s, so I don't have the rapid signs of aging, but I will someday, but preventative measures, as well as I really, you know, you put on a shimmery eyeshadow, and if you have crepiness on your lids, it kind of just emphasizes that. I don't feel like it looks as pretty. So I'm looking forward to using this, and I will let you guys know what my results are. All right, now we have my impulse buys. So I was in the store, and I don't own anything from Hootie, Huda Beauty. I haven't tried anything, haven't even really taken the time to swatch or really look too in-depth. However, I was returning something, and I walked by, and I just so happened to see these. And I pulled a couple, a couple of them out, swatched them. Oh, I felt instantly in love. Okay, so what they are, are they the Huda Beauty Lip Strobe Lip Glosses? I don't need more lip gloss, okay? But I have a soft spot for lip gloss because I feel like it just, it's the cherry on top. It's the lip polisher. It's what really gives your lips that full-on dimensional look. You do the liner, you do the color with your lipstick, and then you top it off with the gloss. It makes them look glossy and juicy and full, youthful. I'm all about it. So I have two shades here. The first one is called Snobby. This is what the packaging looks like. I'm sure you're familiar. I also really like a lip to have some dimension. And... I think, like, matte lips in general aren't my thing. I love a glossy lip. You'll see me wear matte from time to time. I'll usually snap a photo, post it, and then put on my gloss because I can't stand that flat lip look, nor do I think it's very mm, flattering. This color is called Snobby, and what is absolutely phenomenal about this is how dimensional this is. It almost has, like, a foiled, uh, oh, my word. Here, let's zoom in. Are you kidding me? It's a beautiful pink with like a foiled, ugh, it's almost got like a glitter quality to it, golden. It is absolutely, here, I'll put a little bit of it on. I have like six lip products on already. Do you see what I'm saying? Full on juicy pouty lips, I'm absolutely all about. So. That is the first color called Snobby. Do you see how opaque that is too? You could skip lipstick for sure with this. In fact, I originally had just this on with liner, but then I decided for the sake of not looking washed out, I would put a little bit of lipstick on. Um, I mess it with the light here. Mm-hmm. It's phenomenal. Then the second color that I got is called Mystical. This one is a little bit more of a slight purplish undertone which I enjoy I like a cool toned pink lip or like a, even like an orchid soft orchid type color the wand on this is also really nice it comes to a nice point so you can really get to the edges of your lips I appreciate that as well oh my gosh this color is so good this one has like a blue shift to it I mean absolutely stunning. In fact, I would mix these. Here, watch this. This 
This color reminds me of a color I had from Milani like six years ago that I absolutely loved. But yeah, if you're looking for some lip glosses that are going to give serious dimension, these are going to do it for you. This is a quick little haul, but you know what? Sephora is not cheap. It adds up fast there. I mean, you can spend $100 and come home with one thing. I know coming up in December here, they're going to send that $25, um, get, like, what is it, $25 off of 50 coming up. So I have some things in mind that are still on my wish list that I'd like to purchase some more expensive things. But this is the last thing. Um, I've heard wonderful things about this, and I've also heard people that are like, nah. I've used this today. And I've also swatched this, and I seriously get it. So this is the Hollywood Flawless Filter. Um, it says for a superstar youth glow. It comes in shades. I bought shade 2, which is supposed to be light. So this you can use all over the face as a flawless filter or on top of foundation if you want extra coverage. Um, okay, so here is what mine looks like. This is shade 2, which I think is a good shade match. I think if I went a little lighter, it would have probably left too much of a pink cast on my skin even though I'm more neutral to cool I don't like my face to purposely look too pink but I have this in specific spots in my face and I'm telling you that because I think those of you who have tried this if you say it makes you look too oily don't put it all over your face then especially if you already have combo to oily skin put it in the spots where you would actually highlight so I put it on my cheekbones I did on my forehead I did it down the bridge of my nose and a little bit down in this area I didn't put it all over um, because otherwise you're going to be highlighting and emphasizing things that you don't wouldn't normally highlight you're like you're not going to highlight this area of your face you know so that would be my one tip however I get why this is gorgeous how do I explain this okay so it comes in a wand if you have the opportunity to just swatch this and see with your eyes in person how it illuminates softly the skin and gives it an absolute glowy dewy look I think it's something that is not going to translate with a camera lens. This is one of those things that the human eye is going to see it and a camera can't. Because you add in all this lighting, even if I were to zoom in really close, which I will try to do here. Um, do you see a little bit of that glow? Maybe we'll put my other hand up here that has nothing on it. Um, it's like the softest most right here, all in this area, youthful glow. So this hand has nothing on it. In this hand right here you see it now that is something that I mean you could put this on afterwards I don't even have highlighter on today um, for like a cream highlight and I can see how if you have more mature skin if you have texture if you have imperfections you might actually really enjoy this not only underneath your foundation but as a soft cream highlight on top because you know powder can cling to stuff if you have dry skin especially and so so far I've only used this once but so far, I get it. It's absolutely beautiful. And it does give you that, like, all-over youthful glow. I just think you need to swatch it. Or just buy it, you know, because Sephora's return policy is fabulous. Just buy it and try it for yourself. And if you are oily, take those tips. Don't put it all over your whole face. Because you wouldn't highlight your whole face anyways. All right, that is everything that I picked up at the Sephora sale. I will let you know and keep you updated on all of these things. I like to do hauls because I know people like to watch hauls. They're not always the most informative because you haven't really delved into and used the products, but they are fun to watch. So I see both sides of the spectrum. I do like to make videos that I'm sharing my thoughts on things, not just showing, here's what I bought, here's what I bought, here's what I bought. Um, but at the same time, I know people also are just curious. We're, we're curious people. Human nature is very curious. What did, what did she buy? What's in that bag? And it is fun. I get it. I mean, my daughter likes to watch those LL, LOL unboxings on YouTube. You know, it's, I think it's just the LOL element of surprise and just excitement and you don't know what's in there so anyways I'm rambling thank you guys so much for watching and we will chat very soon bye guys